Alright, welcome to the farm. Today we're going to do a quick tour of our chicken tractor. So I built this almost a year ago uh, for a home for our first six chickens. And, uh, the whole thing is six foot by wide by ten foot long. And I built it starting with four A-frames. They were ridged at the top, notched at the top for a ridge pole. And I built the frame of it and I got added some wood to the sides and then this, uh, this real sturdy hardware cloth. Um, we got no one. You can see the back part here on the upper level is a hen house. The big door that opens up and makes it easy to clean out. And right now we have a solid floor in it that can be covered with shavings. And in the summer, when the weather's warmer, you can pull this out and the bottom is just with that same wire. So it gets good ventilation. And the whole this up here. The whole coop also has an opening along the top. So the whole top is just wire and it's covered with this metal. That'll make it easy to get eggs every day. We got nesting boxes on the back. Open this up, and there's five eggs in there today. And they're still warm. This is uh, just wood shavings. It's what we, the same stuff we use in the horse stalls, and we use that because when we were putting hay in there before, the chickens would pull it all out into the hen house, so you'd have to refill it every day. And the shavings, they pretty much leave that alone, and there's plenty of cushioning for the eggs. And, uh, all this is old scrap tin that we had. Uh, underneath actually one of the old barns so that was free. Uh, a lot of the treated wood, some of the scrap pieces and smaller pieces I had, uh, the rest of it and the hardware cloth we bought at the local big box uh, home repair center and uh, probably have about $200 in the whole thing. Uh, you could do it for cheaper if you were willing to shop around and pick up materials. Um, some wood back here that rides along with it and uh, we've got our wheels on an axle back here and it's a couple pieces of all thread tucked into a longer piece of electrical conduit. It was just a real cheap way to make an axle. And then I've got a lifting point here. And what you can do is you can use that with a couple of these boards. Get this under here and jack the whole thing up off the ground if you want to take the wheels off and drop it all the way down. Uh, we used to do that pretty much every night. Uh, we've gotten kind of lazy lately and have been leaving the wheels on. We've got a dog and an attack donkey running around and they keep most of the bigger predators away who could get under there. So we haven't had any trouble. Knock on wood. Uh, this bar is the handle for the front. You tuck it in here then you can easily lift it up and tow it around. And uh, we found with six chickens in that six by 10 area, uh, two days is good for them to, you know, uh, eat grass, tear the ground up a little bit, but not dig any holes. More than two days, they start digging some holes. Uh, so you want to move it every couple days. Here, show you inside got uh, a couple rope pulleys set up. Their feeder can be lifted up when it's raining, keep it dry. And then this one here is for the door to the hen house. That's real convenient. At night, you just shut it down and there's a couple of magnetic cabinet latches that holds it shut. So that way you don't have to crawl in there. And then it just comes out, hangs on a peg. And there's Five happy little hens in right, right now. Uh, I hope you like checking out the chicken tractor. If you have any questions, feel free to post them up on the blog. Um, I'll probably write an entry, uh, put some more details on there, and answer any questions you guys have.